Hello everyone, my name is Michael Sipos and today I'm going to be showing you the Hydronomat and how it works. The Hydronomat is a self-powered water pump that uses the action of both air and water pressure to pump water. The Hydronomat works by filling a container known as the feed tank, or C as it's shown on the diagram, with water from a stream or another water source. This water is then fed into a tank known as the operating tank, or D which is designed to work like a piston when it is filled or drained. When the operating tank drains, the water in the operating tank will pull the air in both the operating tank and the air tube down with it. This then creates a partial vacuum. The closed tank, or B, that is connected to the operating tank D by the, the air tube, which you can see on the illustration as the white tube that connects between the two, will also have a partial vacuum created in it by the operating tank. This will then cause the water in the feed tank, or C, which is also connected, by the way, to the closed tank, to then be pulled up into the closed tank by this partial vacuum. When the operating tank fills up, the water filling up from the bottom of the operating tank will compress the air inside the tank and then push on the water inside the closed tank. The water in the closed tank will then be pushed up into the open tank or A, as is seen on the diagram. Both the suction and pressure cycles are controlled by an automatic switch that periodically turns off the supply of wire from the feed tank to the operating tank during the suction cycle and turns on during the pressure cycle. First, I open the inlet valve to the operating tank with the air tube open in order to fill it all the way for the suction cycle. Now I'm going to start the hydronomat by opening both the siphon and the inlet valve to the operating tank. This extra influx of water into the operating tank helps to get the siphon going and helps flush out any air pockets inside the siphon. As the operating tank drains out through the siphon, the suction created in the closed tank will start pulling up water from the feed tank. The water from the feed tank will then slowly travel up the tube and into the closed tank. As the operating tank keeps draining, the suction generated in the closed tank will continually pull more water up into the tank. When the water in the operating tank finally drains out, the siphon will disable and the suction will mostly stop. At this point, the closed tank will be filled and it will be time for the pressure phase to start in the hydronomat. For the pressure phase, I first turn off the valve on the siphon and then I open and close the valve on the air tube to relieve any remaining suction. The pressure phase of the hydronomat is then started by opening the inlet valve to the operating tank which pressurizes the air in the tank. This pressure then pushes down on the wire inside the closed tank, which then causes the wire to run up into the open tank above it. After the operating tank is full, the open tank will then also be full, and the hydromat will be ready to commence the next suction phase. This concludes the demonstration of the hydronomat. Thank you for watching.